Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher, and you? I'm okay. All right, another day, another dollar. Oh, yes. How was your weekend? I'm very fine, teacher. Uh, I stayed in my house and I cooked, cooked a pizza for Saturday. You made pizza? Yes. All right. Nice. How how did you make it in the oven? I prepare the masa. The dough. Dough. Dough, like donuts, dough. Okay. Okay. Wow, that's good. What about you, Oscar? How was your weekend? It was okay. I, I watched the final of the sh Champions League, I think. Okay, yeah. It was boring, no? Yeah, just one goal. Yeah. The, the last 10 minutes were good, but, but it was a little boring. I watched the game, too. Yeah. Yeah, it was boring. Only yeah. one goal. Uh, Mbappé is terrible. Yes, I, I don't know what happened with him in the in the final because he is a good player and and, sh and he looks like uh, dismotivated. I don't know. He had like three clear opportunities. Yes. 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 Oh, they wow. have the the win. <laughs> But I'm happy that Bayern won. Yeah, it's, it's the soccer team that have more um, constant. Yes, that's why they're, they're good. Mm. They deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. What about they you, Luis Enrique? How was your weekend? Um, hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Uh, fine, thank you. Did you, do, did you do anything Hola. special? Hi, yes, we hear you. Hello, hello, hello. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear oh, you. Okay. Okay. How was your weekend? Nothing special then. No. Everything is was special. <laughs> oh yes? Uh, yes. No, Why? Just... Why tell us? Well, it was, it was great because uh, we celebrate family with uh, my mother's birthday. Oh, yes. Then it was very special. Yes. It was yesterday. And we could uh, stay stay together and share, share um, meals and um, cake too. And funny, funny entertainment all of all of all of we okay all of us all of us excuse me nice that's good okay i saw the match game too the game between uh, match game between between pes 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 and bayer yeah, it was a uh, it was a good bat I hope I hope uh, more than than them than they. Yes, it's true. Do you think Neymar will go to El Barça? No, no, they don't like the football game. Hello. Okay. Yeah. All right. Flor, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. You? I'm okay, thank you. Did you have an okay weekend? Anything different? Uh, I 
I going I I went to my mother and I and I studying all student all week. You know, I have a question and because this is with Brenda too. Do you have problems in the platform? Yes. No. No, everybody yes. or in, in general, everybody. No. Yes, we have. Yes, there is problem with the platform, okay? So don't worry because if even if it's correct, it's gonna say no. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's because uh, the question has uh, has a, a letter, additional letter. Is if you don't not don't notice that uh, your answer is wrong. Yes, but I think also that even people who have all the answers correct, still the platform is saying it's wrong. Oh. So, so something is wrong with the platform and they're, they are fixing it. Okay. Okay. So okay. today, um, how was today? Who went to the street today? Nobody? No, chair, because it's no. dangerous. <laughs> Me. Oh yeah, yes, but but some people have to. They, they have no option because hey, go back to work. Did yeah. you have to go back to work? I am lucky. I still have to work from home. Yeah, me too. I'm still working at home. Yeah. When is uh, is Tigo? When is Tigo? When maybe will Tigo return? Uh, I don't know. They didn't. Tell us yet. Okay. Well, that's good. I, I prefer to be home. But some yeah. people, some people have no option. Some people, they need to work and they have to go out. Like I, right. I have a neighbor, she works in Pops in Boston. Mm. She was crying in the morning. Mm. You know, <laughs> yeah, because she had to go back to work, but she wasn't crying because she had to go back to work. She was crying because she had no option. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she wanted to stay home. She is very scared, you know, with the pandemic. But yeah, it's terrible. Oh man. Uh I think for that job is very risky because they have contact with the people. Yes. I was I, I was so. reading I, I was reading that in, in Hong Kong the first man got contagious two times. The first case the first case of one person who got contagious two times. So I don't know. So in other words, if you if you can stay home, stay home. Yeah. On yeah. the on, on the weekend, on the weekend, I think I exaggerated because I went to the supermarket and I bought groceries maybe for three weeks because I don't want to go out at all. I told I told my wife because normally we go once a week. But I told my wife no. I'm I want to go for 3 weeks because I don't want to go out. I don't know how the situation is going to be. So you know. So now I have a lot of food in my refrigerator. <laughs> you have to be careful. No, you know with the food yeah, today I opened it and I said, "Oh, I think I think I exaggerated." <laughs> yeah, I think I exaggerated. Oh well. But you you, be, you better start to eat the food. Yes, it, you know it's I yeah. <laughs> but you I, saw the the people inside the buses. Oh my God! Really? You know, I I did terrible. not I I did not go out today at all. So. What happened? Were the buses full? Yes, the buses. I saw pictures in Facebook and 
to eat it. The buses are are full. Oh my God. What about Metro Centro? Did it open and the, the shopping malls? Mm, yes, I think they, they opened it. But I I couldn't verify that information because I stay at home today. Oh yeah. I've been very, very, very busy today. I have no time to I haven't had time to check the news because all this last week and this week I am in conference with people from Bulgaria. Ten hours. It's like, oh my god, it's boring. Imagine ten hours of talking like Wow. <laughs> why why ten hours? Yes, why? Ten hours meetings. It's a training. Ah. It's a new training. Oh. But, but really, it's listening to people talk for 10 hours because, mm -hmm. oh my God, but it was so terrible. And the problem is that I have to be in my room because I have to close the door and lock it because my son wants to play. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> papa, papa, papa. So I have to be in my room and it's very hot. Mm. Yeah, so so I I want to maybe later I'm going to watch the news to see what happened today. <clears throat> to see what happened today. But okay, cool. So anybody else did somebody else have an interesting weekend or everybody stayed home, everybody was happy? Oh, you know what? Yesterday, I something something strange happened to me yesterday. Um, what happened to you? I went. I went to pick up my pupusas, and um, well, I called and I ordered my pupusas, and they told me, "Okay, come in twenty minutes." So I went in thirty minutes. The funny part was that when I went in the street there were like children and some young boys they were playing soccer oh, really yeah with, with with the with the rocks you know old school in middle of the road in the middle oh, of the road street. yeah in the middle no. of the i road, remember right? when i did that <laughs> yes yes and you know what happened the pupusa place is right in the middle uh -huh. So, <laughs> so when I parked, when I parked to, you know, the, the, the children and, and the young people, they were very angry, you know, Hey, we're not responsible if we break the window. <laughs> and my uh -huh. wife, my wife got angry and I said, uh -huh. no, man, this is the street rules. Uh huh. And I said, I did that when I was young too, you know. I used to play in the street mm -hmm. and when a car passed, oh stupid car. Yeah. But but it, it, it was very nice. I have it had been many, many years since I have not seen children play in the street. Old school. Yeah, Old now school. it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. rare to see that. Yeah. Now everything's like PlayStation or or in the in the yeah. cell phone. But it was cool, and they even had the rocks. The rocks. So that was cool. It was interesting. Yes. yes. Some of them maybe were mareros. Maybe it's very possible. But when they got angry, it's like, I I can't do anything. Like I can't get angry. Is their territory? Is their house? <laughs> it's their rules. Mm -hmm. yeah but it was interesting to see that i wish i wish i had my camera and take pictures because you don't see that anymore so that was my special that was, that was maybe the special part of my weekend but then the rest i was with my family with my son and that's it what about you Not, somebody did something anything uh, anything different somebody go to the beach not really. No, not yet, teacher. 
<laughs> I wish. But you know what? I don't think the beach is a problem, no? Because in the beach, you, you, uh, yeah. Because I don't understand. I remember last week or two weeks ago, maybe people, they were criticizing people to, that were going to the beach. Remember? Yes. But yes. I told my wife, I said, but that's that's very strange because you're going to the beach, but I see people in parks. Have you seen people in public parks? Mm, not public really. Parks. By my, my, yeah. oh, By I, my I, house, there's like two public parks and you see people doing exercise, uh, uh, you know, children playing like, like a normal day. And I've seen that in many parks and people don't criticize that. So it's very, it's very, uh, it's very, I don't know, it's not correct. Yeah. Okay, listen, uh, today we're going to do a video. Uh, we're going to listen to a video and this is allow to and can, the uses of allow to and can. Do you know what is allowed to? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. No. You don't know, Jasmine? Okay. Um, Oscar, can you explain to Jasmine what is allowed to? Allowed to is something that you can do. Uh, for example, you are allowed to smoke here. You can smoke in the in the in the in the place. You you are allowed to. I don't know if if. Okay, so allowed to is a permission, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and remember, it can be also negative. You're not allowed to. You're not. Allowed. For example, Jasmine, where do you work? I don't work, teacher. I just study. Oh yeah, you study. Where do you study? At Universidad Nacional. Okay, at Universidad Nacional. Okay. In the university, are you allowed to drink liquor? No. You're not allowed to, right? There's, but people do it. <laughs> Some people do it, but but, but the rules. Yes. <laughs> but you're not supposed to. Al, es al escamote. <laughs> yeah, everybody, you know. <laughs> but... People do it, but you're not allowed to, yes. So for example, um, in um, Jasmine, in El Salvador, well, let's, I don't know the complete El Salvador, but maybe San Salvador, can you smoke in a, in a public place? Uh, no. No, you can't, right? You're not allowed to. Correct, you're not allowed to? Yes. Yes or no? No. <laughs> okay. Do you understand, class, what is allowed to then, right? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Okay. We're, <laughs> we're going to see more, more into detail what, what it is. Uh, let me share my screen with you. Do, 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 do. All right, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes. Teacher, yes. I see. All right, good, thank you. Okay, I'm going to press play. Listen to this and tell me if you, under, if you don't understand something. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. 
Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. They are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your examples on our discussion box. You've got to take off your shoes. Okay, class, so look. In this moment, ignore prohibition. So we are in permission and obligation, okay? Obligation is you have to or you must. Remember I told you that last week? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you have to and must is an obligation, right? But what is the difference between have to and must? Must, uh, I remember you said it's uh, legal. Exactly. It's, it's legal obligation. It's a legal obligation. That's the, that's the difference. Or an authority. An authority. Yeah. An implemented authority, right? Something that is not negotiable. For example, to go to the United States, you must have a visa, correct? Correct. Correct. There is no other option. It's an obligation. Yes. To, yes. Um, to buy liquor in a supermarket, you must be 18 or 21? 18. 18. 18. 18 in the supermarket, but in the tenditas, you can be 11. That's no problem. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you see, in the, that, that would be permission. You can. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no. So you must be um, 18 to buy liquor in a supermarket, and right? That is you not negotiable. You can buy li liquor in uh, the cantina, too, in this country. <laughs> oh, yes. If you, yeah. If you are under, under the age. <laughs> Yes, or you can pay an adult to buy liquor for yeah, you. Yeah, you can pay an adult if you want to buy. Yes. So permission is you can and you're allowed to. Okay. So what do you think? If that's permission, what is the contrary of permission? Prohibition. Prohibition. So the uh, what is the contrary or the opposite of you can? You can't. You're allowed to. You're not allowed to. Out. Okay, my Tigo people, what is the, the name of that building in, in the, the beautiful building in Tigo? Um, Tuscana, no. Tuscania. Tuscania. Yes? Inside yes. that building, can you smoke? No, we are not allowed to smoke. You're not allowed to smoke? Are you allowed to bring visitors? Yes. Yes, we are allowed. Oh, okay, great. You're allowed to have visitors. Oh, that's good. All right, that's cool. That's nice. So, let me see. Let me see. Samuel Romero, are you there? Yes. Can you tell me what is something you're not allowed to do in a public place? Or something you can't do in a public place. Public place. Mm. You are not allowed to. Mm. Think about it. You are in front of Cathedral. Parque Libertad. What is the name of the park? Yeah, Cathedral. It's a barrio. 
barrios, right? Barrios, barrios. Think about it. What is something you can't do there? Um, in barrios, you are not allowed to. Um, Make a party, not permission. Actually, you can if you ask permission to the. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. What is? Can you urinate in in the public place? Yeah. You can urinate. You can pee pee. No, oh, you can't. Yeah, no, no. You can't. Okay. Yes, there are people that do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can't. You have no permission for that, you have right? Permission for so, uh, uh, like a no, it's a it's a walk to a naked. Okay, you can't walk naked in public. That's very good, but there are some people that do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Carlos Asensio, are you there? No, teacher. Hello, where do you work, Carlos? In Tigo. Tigo. I have a question. Yes, Tony. Can you have a Claro cell phone in Tigo? <laughs> uh, really, you are allowed to have a Claro cell phone, but it's not correct to have. Yes, it's not ethical, but you yes. can, right? Yes, you can. Okay, good. You see that that's 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 the difference that example right there carlos asensio of course he works in tigo but for ethics he's not gonna say hey my my telephone is claro yes or vice versa you're not going to work in claro and have a tigo cell phone or maybe you do but you just <laughs> yes <laughs> Like, for example, in my case, I work in Talos, and I'm not allowed to work in another call center if I work in Talos. Can you hear the cars? No. Oh, no, can, not really. No. I, oh, man, right now is, is Daytona in... <laughs> yeah, stupid idiot. Yeah, it's, it, it's terrible, man. Right now it's Daytona in um, Paso de Jaguar. <laughs> so, so like I'm telling you, I work in Talos, and um, imagine I have another part-time job. I'm not allowed to work in another call center because there's a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. and, and it's logical, correct? Yes, it's logical. All right. Maricela. Hello. Hi, do you have children? Yes, I have a child. How old is your child? He's uh, nine years old. Oh, okay. Is he allowed to visit his friends? Is he allowed to visit Right now, yes, yes. All right, good. Yeah. He he is allowed to visit his friend. Yes. Good, good. Um, who has teenagers? Does somebody here have teenagers? I don't have teenagers. No. Okay. When I was a teenager, we are young. What? No, yeah, I mean, my son is four, but I remember when I was a teenager, I was allowed to have girls study in my house. <laughs> but my sister was not allowed to have boys. <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. Now it's wrong, but in that time for me, yeah. But the times are changing. Oh, yes. Now the times are very different. Right now, it's, it's different. The correct way today is boys and girls. Boys are not allowed to have girls in the room, and girls are not allowed to have boys in the room. 
um, equal. Do you know what is equal? Like similar? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you have any questions with allowed to? No. I haven't. Oh. Yeah. Are you allowed to use internet in your house, in your work? Yes. Yes? I have 15 people and only two talk all the time. So I don't know if the rest of the class hears me or I don't know, but I'm going to continue then. Okay. Um, so you understand can and allowed to. What about, yes. what is the obligation must and have to, correct? Correct. Correct. Yes. Correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, um, let, me, let me tell you the difference between have to and must. Because I think must is, there's, it's not negotiable. It's not. It's a it's a non-negotiable um, condition. Condition, yes. So if I have a check, if I have a check, I have to. You have to have a Dewey, correct? Or you must. You must. You must. You must have a Dewey. A Dewey or a, li a driver's license, correct? Yes. 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 Both. Okay. Both are requiring. The so imagine I say, okay, um, I don't have my, my wallet and I need my check. So you can say, okay, if you don't have your Dewey or your uh, driver's license, you have to sign the check and give it to somebody to cash it for you. Okay. Yeah. You, you, you have to give it to somebody to cash it for you, but that person must have um, a Dewey or a driver's license. That is the difference. Okay. Okay. Um, Jasmine, yes. are you there? Yes, teacher. Jasmine, where do you work? I don't work, teacher. I study. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Yes, it's true. It's, it's difficult for me because sometimes the boxes move. So when somebody comes in or out, the boxes move. So where do you study in the, in the National University, Jasmine? Yes, teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I always ask the wrong person. <laughs> Thank you. Brenda, where do you work? work for Tigo. All right, in Tigo. Are yes. you allowed to wear jeans in Tigo? Casual? Casual? Yes, we are, we are allowed to wear jeans. Okay. And tennis. What is tennis? Shoes. Oh, tennis, tennis. shoes. Tennis shoes. But do you know, you know that that could be a problem in the United States? Yes. Not a problem, but if you go to a to a store in the United States and you say, um, I want some tennis shoes, really, they're going to look for the sport tennis. <laughs> the sneaker is the correct, right? Exactly. The correct way is sneakers. So I think we are allowed to use a sneaker. Sneakers. Oh, okay, good. Why? Do you know why? No, I don't know. Because I don't think you have contact with um with people. Yes. Because, uh, clients. Yeah. Are you allowed to wear uh, wear shorts? Mm, sometimes you can use shorts. Oh, okay. Good. It might work too. In Talus, we're allowed to wear shorts. 
um, we're allowed to wear shirts, but but the rules are changing now. Why? Because. ¿Cómo se dicho? Le das la mano y te jalan el brazo. Te agarras el codo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. Um, the problem right now is that um, what we were talking about, remember I told you that in my time, I was allowed to have girls in my room and my sister, no? Yes. That was normal back then. In this time, it's not normal. And this time, the boy and the girl are the same, correct? Correct. So in call centers, we have that problem. It's not a problem, it's an issue that um, there's a lot of, uh, there's like a lot of um, gay people, uh, gay women and, and gay men. And some men, they actually go dress as women now. You know, so so the rules are starting to change because some men they go in in, in shorts, y tacones, and, and no, you know, yeah. There's like two two cases have happened, and um, you know, he's allowed to because women are allowed to. Yeah. So so because of that. The, the rules are changing because it can be a little bit more complicated because if a man is wearing very short shorts and he goes to a men's bathroom, it's a um, ah, Pandora box opens. So one day they said, okay, people, no more shorts, only on Fridays, shorts under the knees, which is better, I think. It's better for, for the two people, for men and women. Que sea igual todo. Yes? Yes. Okay. okay, I'm going to play another video here with if I found. If I, if I, if I. Okay? So check this video out. Do you see the woman? Yes, teacher. Yes. Cool. Yes. If I, pay attention to the if I part. Oh, first of all, no more questions with have to, can, right? What? No, no more questions. All right, cool. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. What would you do if you found love? Okay, um, the, the purpose of this is what would you do if? So, um, 
Let's see. Here is what would you do if? Please keep in mind the verb is in past. What would you do? What is the past of have? Have. Had. 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 So what, what would you do if you had a million dollars? What would you do? What is the past of see? So. So. Uh, what would you do if you saw um, Metallica eating in Burger King? But, you know, and this is, remember, this is an unreal action. This never happened, but it's a hypothesis. It's, it's like a, it's a situation. It's an intended action. Okay. Okay. That happened to me one time. Um, I was teaching in a company and I went to the bathroom and the urinal, do you know what is a ur urinal? Maybe men understand, yeah. but I don't, I don't think women. Yeah. Okay. Women don't use urinal, but men, we do. Um, Everybody, you understand what is a urinal? Yes. 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 Okay, great. So I went to the bathroom, and in the urinal on the top, there was a wallet. Oh. And when I opened it, that wallet had maybe 460 something dollars. And uh, temptation is ugly. Temptation is very, very ugly. So... I, I thought about it mm. and stupid me, I return it. <laughs> <laughs> but I went to the front desk. I went to the front desk, but I said, hmm. I told the, the, the receptionist, I mean, I wanted to talk to the receptionist. I said, look, I found $400, uh, this wallet with this much money. But of course the receptionist, oh, thank you. If somebody comes, I will give it to him. Mm. But no, I told the receptionist, can I please speak with the general manager of the building? Oh, why, and is there a problem? No, 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 I just, it's an issue I have. So then the receptionist came and and she contacted the general manager. The general manager came and I said, look, I'm really sorry. I found this wallet. I just want to give it to you. And, um, you know, you know what to do. But in that moment, I compromised the general manager. Yes. You know, and the complete day I was depressed. <laughs> I had a big depression. Wow, $460, you know, and uh, so everybody was telling me, oh, you did something good, God will pay you, and this and that. The next day, somebody stole my battery from my car. Somebody opened my car and, and they took my battery. I had to buy a new one, like $80. And um, two days later, I went to teach in La, La Loteria Nacional de la Beneficencia. And the, the, I parked in front of the building. And then like this person came, he saw eight, three dollars. What? Three, he wanted to charge me three dollars to park in front of the building. I said, three dollars. And I said, okay, when I come out. No, he said, no, now. You're crazy. So I went to teach. When I came out, that idiot, he punched my, he pinched my four tires. The complete four tires. So I had to buy four tires. And I, and I remember I told my wife, hey, I'm still waiting for God. And, you know, because... I returned the money and, and that day, and that week, it was terrible for me. They stole my wallet. I'm sorry, uh, they, um, they stole my battery. They pinched the four tires of my car. So 
I always said, I should have kept the money. Maybe return the wallet, <laughs> but not the money. Teach that, that person. Not, yeah, but teach you know that, that, is, that is not correct. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Temptation is, is very strong. Temptation is very old. At one time, and in, in, I was in Cascadas, and you know, in the in the super selectos where you can eat, yeah. where you eat, somebody left a, mm -hmm. a Samsung, and that time it was like a Edge, Edge Seven or something. And um, when I sat on the table, that sat, the the telephone was in the table, and I said, "Ooh." What I did is I, I took the telephone and I put it close to me and I said, okay, somebody was here. He will realize in the parking, oh my God, my telephone and he will come back because I continue eating. And I said, okay, I'm going to eat. And that time, the, yeah, the I person- wait for someone. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, Less I said- time. Okay, yeah, or the person will call or the person will come back. Mm -hmm. And what the person did, maybe the person realized later, oh no, I lost my telephone, they, they blocked it. So they never called, they never came back. And I had a Samsung H7. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I had to pay like $25 to open it. Yes, because, you had to pay for, for a black. <laughs> in, in, in that time, in that time, I was like, wow, I have a Samsung. <laughs> so now, um, <laughs> I want you to think of unreal situations. What would you, so we can do with you, okay? What would you, where would you, who would you, and the verb in past. I'm going to ask you one real quick. Luis, are you there? Which Luis? Mesa. Which you. Luis? <laughs> oh yes, I'm sorry, Luis Mesa. <laughs> I'm here. Luisito, um, do you have a girlfriend? Sorry? Do you have a girlfriend? No, no, I haven't. Uh, uh, I'm married. Oh, you're I get married. married. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're married. Okay. Um, this is a situation. Okay, so invent. Okay. What, okay. What would you do if your wife has a very, very handsome coworker? Um, I don't know really. I I I guess I'm not jealous. I'm, okay, so I wouldn't get jealous. Remember, I, you can answer negative. Okay, I wouldn't uh, uh, jealous. I wouldn't get jealous. I wouldn't get jealous. Okay, very good. That happened to me once. My wife, she had a very handsome coworker. Like, man, hasta yo la miraba guapo. Like, wow. <laughs> it's, it's weird that you accept that that scene. Oh you no! Yeah. Handsome to another man, the oh, man don't accept. My husband said he never, he, he don't understand, but I know that he he understands. Every man, every man, we accept when another man is handsome. If we don't accept, no, you know, but don't accept that. No, no. Oh yeah, we know, but we just don't accept. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So so yeah, that's true. Very very good. You put it in words. But what happened was that th this man, he was very handsome. I was like, but, but, but after I discovered he was gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was worried. <laughs> I was a little worried. <laughs> All right, Maricela. Yes. What would you do if you see your husband mm. drinking coffee? What? Drinking <laughs> coffee. But listen mm. to this. He's only drinking I coffee. I feel angry. 
<laughs> Let me finish. <laughs> no. I, could I, I don't like it. that question. <laughs> I feel angry. Just as a supposition. Supposit <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you can you, you imagine I'm you're you are in the mall. Yes. And you see your husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what would you do if you see your husband with his co-worker? Which is a woman. Mm -hmm. Because imagine your husband said, baby, um, I will be with my co-workers having lunch. Oh, no problem, baby. No problem. But you didn't know that this co-worker is a woman and she's extremely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So what would you do <laughs> if you see your husband eating lunch with his very beautiful, sexy co-worker? Mm -hmm. But listen, but they have a social distance, you know, they're, they're, they... <laughs> They're just having lunch, like a normal lunch. Yes. What would you do? I I don't do anything. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Anything. Okay. I wouldn't do anything. Really? Yes. Yes, because he he told me before. Right? Yeah. So Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't <But> believe you. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not jealous. Jealous? 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 Nah, I'm jealous. But <laughs> I don't do anything because I'm. I wouldn't. I sorry. I will. Trust him. Trust I will him. not do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he didn't lie. He didn't lie in anything. He only did not mention that she was extremely hot and sexy. That, vale, was, maybe, vale. that was maybe the only problem. <laughs> A little problem. I feel angry, teacher. <laughs> you know, one time I was unfaithful. Fui infiel. Con mi propia esposa. Nah. With my own wife. It was funny because my wife told me, Hey, come with come for me. I am in the in the mall. And I said, Okay, come out, but wait for me in the parking lot. So I was parked and waiting for my and that time she was my girlfriend and I was waiting for her. And she never came. And suddenly I see this girl like Wow, nice. This girl was from the back, you know. And I was I, I was really checking her out. I was wow, nice. <laughs> and it was my wife. <laughs> I I <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't realize it was my wife. So when my wife looked at me, porque me miraba así, amo. How? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's what? nice. Yeah, pero me agarró, ok, te fui infiel, pero contigo mismo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, sure. yes. Sorry, sorry, I have a question. Sure. Uh, in the uh, answer, I will mm. not um, bear in present. Yes, because you, you're okay. saying negative. So I wouldn't do anything. Okay. Um, yes. Okay, Milton, hello. Hello. Milton, what music do you like? Uh, I don't have a, 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 a one special, but I okay. prefer maybe pop. Okay, what, uh, do you like movies? Yes. What movies do you like? Uh, romantic and I think just that. Romantic movie. Okay. Let me see. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I'm, I'm single. Okay. Imagine, okay, Milton, just imagine. Okay. What would you do if your ex-girlfriend 
mm. tells you or told you she's pregnant. Mm. Uh, I don't know what will happen, but I will be. I would. I will. Uh, uh, I will be. be uh, afraid. Very good. Because. Um, No, no, I, I understand, definitely. Like, if my ex-girlfriend yeah. told me she was pregnant, I would immediately start making numbers. Okay, wait a minute, wait, wait. Don't. <laughs> yeah, it is. I would immediately start making numbers. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, I would say, like, okay, we broke up one year ago. So how is that possible? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Madeline. Yes, teacher. Hi. Hi. What would you do if you see Brad Pitt in the street? Oh, I will ask him uh, for um, a photo with me. All right. Cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. I think it will be my my first reaction, but maybe my first reaction will be a scream or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I emotion. imagine. Yeah. Oh my God, Brad Pitt. Yes, Brad Pitt. He he never lose the the glam. <laughs> <laughs> Floor. Tell me. How are you, Flor? Fine. Very good. Are you married? Yes. What do you think your husband would say if you discover you're pregnant? <laughs> um. The first reaction, what? <laughs> huh? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I, I don't know. No, you know, but answer anything, okay? Because remember, this is just an example. Sometimes when the question is not real, the answer is not real so you can invent whatever you want so you can say oh my husband would go crazy if i am pregnant or my husband would be very happy if i am pregnant or my husband would start running escape if i am pregnant you know i mean whatever comes to your mind yes just say anything you know my husband would be very happy if i am pregnant What happened to Florida? We lost Florida. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Oscar, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oscar Guevara. Tell me. Hello, teacher. Hello. Floris. No yeah, it's okay, Florida. I saw that you you got disconnected. No problem. Oscar, what would yes, you do? I have problem. Okay, uh, Oscar, what would you do if you win the lottery? Wow. <laughs> if you win $1 million? Well, I will quit my job. I would quit. I will quit my job. And then... Um, I think... I think put a, a enterprise or company about automatization. Okay, good. I would buy houses. <laughs> I would buy houses and rent them all. 
that's money for life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, and I would buy I would buy every level, like expensive houses, you know, the rent two thousand dollars. I would like buy mid middle class, you know, rent three hundred, five hundred dollars, and I would buy little apartments where the rent is one hundred dollars. <laughs> for you know, for everybody. Yeah, every segment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think, in my opinion, I think that's that's the where the money is. It's called real estate. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I will not buy cars or nothing. Houses, houses, houses. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, wild class. Then um, tomorrow we'll keep we'll keep on practicing this. But you you have to say the situation. Okay. And um, sometimes it's okay, you can say whatever you want, you know, because we understand this for practice. So you can say, teacher, what would you do if you see your wife talking with um, Brad Pitt? I would, I would take a picture of the three. Selfie. Yeah. Hey, I am with Brad Pitt and my wife. <laughs> no, you know, I mean, what would you do if, <laughs> yeah, what would you do if you had $1 million? What would you do if you were a president? What would you do, you know, if, if you lose your job? Okay, so think about that. That's what we're going to practice tomorrow, okay? You have a very, very good night. Have a happy Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night. Okay. okay. Thanks. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.